when we sat down and met with her, because we met with her together, we was very specific and detailed about what we wanted. And in terms of the price being so low, we never asked her for a discount or look, that's what she charged us. It's not Mr. Wright asking her for a discount. I agree with you that I don't think that I would be happy having spent as much money as you spent, clearly, on this wedding. It was beautifully staged. It was in a beautiful venue. The cake itself was more expensive, I'm absolutely positive, than the video, than what you paid the videographer, because I've done weddings and I've done affairs and I know what that wedding cake cost. And I would not be happy with the quality of this video. You don't get your money back. Don't refer her to anybody else. But the next time, if you're ever planning a function, I suggest you go to somebody who you check their credentials, you look at the work that they've done, that they supply you, you check the references for this important date, because this falls under the category, Mr. Wright, of you get what you pay for. Charged you $250 for a full day's work. She clearly came while you were getting dressed, stayed through the ceremony, stayed through the party, took whatever video she took of the tables at the party, went to the after party, went to another venue where you and your husband walked away together. So it wasn't that she didn't show up. It's that she didn't do what you considered a great job. I agree with you. You don't get your money back. You can complain about it someplace on the internet, if you like, and say, I used this videographer and I was unhappy with her service because I don't think it's professionally done. I don't think it's well lit. I don't think it's well composed. My personal opinion. I don't think it's well edited. My opinion. But that doesn't mean that he gets his money back. Do you understand? You know, if you went to the venue and you invited all the people there and you picked a menu and it turned out that you didn't like the food, you don't get your money back. If the food was served cold, you don't get your money back. Everybody ate it. If they didn't want to eat the cold food, they ate something else, or they didn't. But you don't get your money back. You don't recommend the venue again. Now, if the venue closes down and doesn't show up to accommodate your wedding, then you get your money back. If she never showed up to do the wedding, if she didn't show up to do the wedding, can I speak on that? She did show up for the wedding, sir. I just saw what she did. She did. But, however, the second videographer who she hired never showed up. As you see me getting dressed, he never showed up to you the mean house. You had two videographers for $250? Right, her partner. Oh, but Mr. Wright, he was get, the Mr. Wright, you get what you pay for. $250. You want two videographers for the whole day. But, like I said, I told her when we talked, that charge me, charge me. We, our it's wedding was at no of expense. Charging, if she's only charging you two hundred and fifty dollars. But we told her to Listen, charge us, though. We what? wasn't expecting you, you, any kind of deals. Tim, you're right. not following me, sir. That's the price she gave you. A bell would have gone off in my head. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. Don't charge me more. I'm going to look into a videographer for this important date. And if a bell went off in your head and said, you know what? It's only. $250, maybe this is somebody that I want to hire for my day. Not, you charge $250, that's not enough. Why don't you charge me more? You mean you would have been happy if she charged you more and gave you that product? She didn't give you that product because she only charged you $250. She gave you that product because that's the best she could do.